joy turning to despair. That is the story of the Harambe Starlet's journey to the Women's Cup of Nations, which seems to have hit a bump due to scarcity of funds. Football Kenya Federation is now urging the government to operationalize the sports fund, which is reported to have 10 billion shillings. Line Idol. Harambe's talents dance at the Africa Women's Cup of Nations is in danger of ending even before it starts due to lack of funds needed by Football Kenya Federation. If the sports fund is not operational by next week, we might not be able to fund this team two weeks later for the Cup of Nations. For the Starlet's Cup of Nations outing, FKF has presented a budget of 43 million shillings to the sports ministry. The plan is to have the team start residential training on 29th of November, play two international friendlies and depart for Ghana on 14th of November. This plan is, however, solely dependent on the funding. But the ministry does not have the money. But I want to tell you the good news. Our understanding is that our sports fund, the noble idea that was created, has got more than 10 billion shillings as we speak today. 35% of which, by law, would come to sports. Kenya, which has set itself a target of getting out of the group stage, will be relying on Starlet's veterans like AC Akida and Corazon Aquino, who now play professional football abroad. We're in the same group uh, with Nigeria, South Africa, and Zambia. I know many Kenyans are writing us off, but I want to say that we have seen the impossible become impossible with Kenya beating Ghana. But even as FKF eyes the sports fund, it may be too late to the party. There is an amendment to the Sports Act that has gone through the first reading in Parliament, which seeks to have the fund become the property of the starved for cash national government. A bill for an act of Parliament to amend the Sports Act. According to Football Kenya Federation, if the government does not come through with the funds required by the Harambe Starlets to play at the Cup of Nations next month in Ghana, then it will be forced to ask you, the Kenyan, to help with funding the team's trip. Warote Kiru, NTV, Nairobi County.